I'm going to tell you this. If you walk into an employer for an interview and you guys are all at that point where you're getting ready for OJT and you just puke out everything you're not good at, you don't like, good luck getting a job. If you walk in there and say, yeah, you know, Ms. Mercy program, I hate electrical and, you know, boy, I just, and, and, you're, and you're that guy, we, all of us dealers have had this. We've had the people come in like, I love building motors and I just, I want to do suspension. We don't care. We honestly don't care. We're not going to hire you for that. We're never going to hire someone fresh out of school at the beginning of your craft to do top level work. Okay? See, so think about the way you apply for that job of very realistic, you know, goals. And I, I'd suggest this before you ever apply for that job, before you guys walk in to ask for your internships, don't you think it'd be a great idea to know what their goal is? Do you think it'd be a good idea to talk to the other employees before you get to that interview and figure out what is what are the goals of this dealership or possibly this position? You talk to the other mechanics that are in there, the other parts department people, and say, what are the big things you do? I'll tell you what, we do oil changes, we do brakes, we do tires, we do fuel system, you know, services, we do accessories. Man, that's what you need to get good at. Okay? To then get to your own personal goal of going, hey, now I've proven myself for this dealer. Man, I'd love to bump up into becoming and mentoring under an engine builder, under a suspension guru, or a riding coach, or whatnot. Parts department. We got some people in here wanting to do parts department. You ask your same thing. What do you do? What's your day look like? Well, I open shipping and receiving. I have to do documentation. I have to have good phone report with the uh, vendors to order my parts. I have to be a research specialist. I have to be able to find stuff people can't find. I'm going to be an eBay guru. I'm going to be a, a Craigslist guru. I'm going to, you know, you know, all of those things that are going to get you successful in that position. Does that make sense? You realistically, when you're applying for a job, your goals don't have to be so outwardly spoken. Okay, your your weaknesses don't have to be put on front stage unless it's an area where you're going to say this. You know. Here's what I'm good at, but I want to be honest. I'm coming in this OGT position, and I'm weak at electrical. I just want you to know, I'm not saying that I'm not capable of learning, but I, uh, I would like you to be fully aware that I'm weak in this area, and I would love some mentorship or love to grow in this area. Um, if, if it's needed, that's something I you know, would be willing, but I, I don't want to promise you I'm going to be that person right up front. Well, I could hire someone like that.